David, it is <laughs> apparent I am not good at building stuff. No, not at all. No, some people are really yeah, good yeah. at building things, um, like the Empire State Building. Um, like the Eiffel Tower. Oh, yeah, in Paris, France. Yes. Uh, the Pyramids of Giza in the, Egypt. Yeah, the St. Louis Arch. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that is cool. But yeah, hey, it is. anyways, man, we're going to talk about some awesome buildings today. And, and we're glad you're with us on the Journey Today show. I'm Jeremy. And I'm David. Yeah. And so speaking of which, there's probably one, the most famous building built ever. Let's talk about that. In our story for today, the Israelites have been fighting for years and years to live in the Promised Land, and now they finally have peace. Whoa, peace, dude. Okay, well, so the king of Israel, King Solomon, decides to build a temple where God's spirit can live. Now, this isn't just any ordinary building. 150,000 men work day and night for seven years to build the temple. And here's the really crazy part. Out of respect for God, they kept the construction site completely Quiet. Whoa, that's crazy! Whoa, man, I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, it meant the workers had to do all of the sawing and hammering and chiseling at another location, then carry the materials to the job site and very quietly assemble the temple. And when it was finished, it was one of the most beautiful buildings ever. But in the very back, there was the most special room of all. In fact, the room was called the Most Holy Room, or the Holy of Holies. No one was allowed in this room except the high priest, and only he could go there one time a year. You know what? Instead of me telling you what happens next, why don't you read it for yourself? Press pause, then open your Bibles and read the verses on the screen. Man, I love when we open up the Bible and read the stories and, and words of God together. David, could you imagine being in a place where God's spirit was at? For 400 years, yeah. the Israelites worshipped God and sacrificed to him in the temple. But then bad news. Their enemies came and destroyed it. But then good news. They built another one. But bad news. It got destroyed also. But then good news, they built a third one. But bad news, that one actually got burnt down. Jeremy, no, no, stop, no, no fire, no fire. But if there's no temple today, my question is like, where do people worship God and where does God's presence live? And you know what? I think our verse today answers that. Hey, read Ephesians 2, 22 with us. And because you belong to him, you two are being built together. You are being made into a house where God lives through his spirit. All right, so David, here's today's challenge. Okay. We're going to have exactly two minutes. And whoever can build the tallest tower out of these army men wins. Now, guess what the winner gets to do? What? Build their own artistic interpretation of Solomon's temple on the loser's face. Ooh, I like that. Okay, okay. Two minutes, tallest tower wins. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Three, two, one, go. Looks like you are just. Oh! Uh, no, that was, that was. You were at like I was six good. and I, a half inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am at four inches. Uh, 
David, congratulations. Thank you, Jeremy. David, it is so awesome hosting with you. And yeah, every time yeah. we bring a new host in, I hope that my challenge luck gets better. But hey, you won, so congratulations. Um, help our friends see, not accurately, but artistically, what the temple may have looked like. All right, let's give this a try. Ta-da! Believe it or not, this is kind of a picture of where God lives today. The temple is no longer made up of cedar wood and stone. It's made up of everyone in God's family. God's Holy Spirit lives inside of the church, the community of people who love and follow Jesus. Now, just to be clear, we don't have to stack ourselves into the shape of a building like this but we do have to continue gathering together because together we are the temple of God, the place where God's spirit lives. And when we come together, we can help each other love and follow Jesus. Mm. That's so amazing, David. When we place our faith in Jesus Christ, God gives us his spirit that lives inside of us. And as we gather together, we become the temple. We're worshiping God in that yeah. way. And, and you know what? That sets up our first discussion question. How can we, as a church, mm -hmm. help each other love and follow Jesus more? Press pause. And discuss. Hey, I have another question for you. What are some things that get in the way of you gathering with others and what can you do to get over that? Mm, press pause. And discuss. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the Journey Today show. We have had so much fun. We had a, a bit of a mess to clean yeah, up. Yeah, we do. Yeah, but we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, bye guys.